Hey foodies and welcome back to Cooking with Kiana. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these self-indulgent, super flavorful stuffed bell peppers. So let's get started. So for this recipe, I'm going to be using 1.3 pounds of ground beef, two small shallots and three garlic cloves. You can substitute the shallot for one medium onion. And then we have our seasonings. I'm gonna be using three teaspoons of complete seasoning, two teaspoons of onion powder, two teaspoons of garlic powder, one teaspoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of black pepper, and one teaspoon of Creole seasoning. Then a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Okay, and then I have a can of corn that I'm gonna be adding to that for some sweetness. And then I'm gonna be adding about a cup of cheddar cheese. I'm also gonna add in two cups of rice and a half a jar of spaghetti sauce. And I'm gonna be using five large bell peppers for this recipe. You want the large ones because they're great for stuffing. But what I'm gonna do right now is, as you can see, I can't really stand this up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut a little bit off of the bottom, that way it could stand up. And we're gonna go ahead and do that to all of them. All right, so now that we've got them to stand up, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the top, pull that out. That way we can go in and remove that membrane. Once we finish doing that, we're going to go in with a knife and make sure we remove all of the seeds out. You can rinse them out if you need to. And then I'm going to go ahead and boil this for three minutes. That way when we bite into these bell peppers, they're nice and tender. As you can see, we're not letting none of this pepper go to waste. I'm going to go ahead and cut up the tops. That way we can use it for the stuffing. And we're just going to make sure we chop these up pretty finely. And I'm also going to go ahead and chop up the scallops and the garlic and we're going to head over to our skillet and we're going to add that in and we're going to let those cook until they turn translucent. It should take you no more than three to five minutes and we're going to make sure we cook that on a medium heat. Once they have become translucent, I'm going to go ahead and add in my ground beef. Now I'm using ground chuck and I'm using an 80, 20% but you can use a lean ground beef if you would like. I just like a lot of flavor in mine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and break that up with my spoon. Once that is all broken up, I'm just gonna let that cook until it is brown. Once it's browned, we can add in our seasonings. You always wanna make sure you brown the beef first before you even start adding in the seasoning. Cause if you add in that seasoning first, your beef is gonna be really dry. Okay, so now I'm just gonna mix that all together. And once that's mixed in, I'm gonna add in the tomato sauce. Then I'm gonna go ahead and mix that in as well. Make sure you turn off your fire. As you can see, that meat is really juicy. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add in my corn and that's gonna add some sweetness and texture to it. I'm also gonna add about two cups of rice. As you can see, I didn't use all the rice in my bowl. Now you wanna go ahead and give everything a good mix. As you can see, it's starting to come together and it's starting to look real juicy and nice. We just have one more thing to add to this and that is cheese. Now I'm gonna be using a cup of sharp cheddar cheese. However, you guys can use Monterey Jack, mozzarella, Parmesan, whatever your little heart desires. So we're gonna go ahead and mix that together. And we're just gonna keep mixing that until that cheese starts to melt a little bit. Make sure that's mixed in there well and our stuffing is done. All right, so now I'm just gonna add some spaghetti sauce to the bottom of our pan. That is gonna help these peppers not burn. It's also gonna add an extra layer of flavor to our peppers. So now we can go ahead and add the bell peppers to our pan. Make sure you spread them out. And now we can add in that stuffing. And guys, I'm not gonna lie, when I stuff these, I made sure I really pack these in good. I'm not gonna let none of that stuffing go to waste. But on a serious note, if you're gonna fill them up, just make sure you pat them down good. That way, none of that stuffing overflows over and it tips over. So after I'm done stuffing these, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add that cheddar cheese on top. And that's gonna take these stuffed peppers to a whole nother level. Now at this point, you could go ahead and make it pretty. You could add some parsley on top as well. And that's it guys. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this in the oven on 350 for about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on boil for about two to five minutes, just so the top could get nice and golden like this. 
And that is it, guys. I definitely recommend trying this recipe. It was absolutely delicious and it was filled with tons of flavor. Make sure you guys check the description box for the full recipe. And also make sure if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I will be posting tons of new recipes. Now, let me go ahead and plate this and cut into this so you guys can just see how amazing that bell pepper was. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.